Hello friend, in this video lecture, we will discuss about finite Fourier sine transform and finite Fourier cosine transform. The first of all, we discuss the finite Fourier sine transform. Here the function f of x is a continuous function on finite interval 0 to a. Then the finite Fourier sine transform of f of x is defined by script f of f of x means Fourier sine transform is denoted by tilde f suffix s okay and defined as 0 to a integration f of x sin n pi x divided by a with respect to x integration okay where n is equal to <coughs> n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and so on similarly its inverse transform is defined on script f inverse on the on the tilde f of the function of n is equal to f of x is equal to 2 upon a summation is run from n is equal to 1 to infinity tilde f into sin n pi x divided by a say equation number two now similarly we define the cosine transform the cosine transform of the function f of x which is continuous function on the interval 0 to a then the Fourier cosine transform finite Fourier cosine transform of f of x is defined by script f f of x means Fourier cosine transform of f of x is denoted by tilde f suffix c which is function of n is equal to integration 0 to a f of x cos n pi x divided by a with respect to x integration where n is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and so on okay and its inverse cosine transform is given by f of x is equal to 1 upon a tilde f suffix c about the 0 plus 2 upon a summation is running from 1 to infinity tilde f function of n into cos of n by x divided by a and see capital script f suffix c and its inverse are the linear transform linear transformation let us discuss problem on finite sine transform and finite Fourier cosine transform okay for that we have taken the two example in first example the f of x is equal to 1 and in second example f of x is equal to x so first of all we find the sine transform of both function Okay, let f of x is equal to let solution let f of x is equal to f of x is equal to 1 by definition of finite Fourier sine transform sine transform is script f script f which is operate on small f of x here suffix yes yes for the sine transform is equal to is equal to tilde f in bracket n suffix yes and defined as defined as 0 to a integration f of x in bracket sine of n pi x divided by a dx say equation number one now see here the range set is not given so we consider the x is lies between x is lies between 0 to a okay now substitute the value of f of x tilde f which is function of n is equal to 0 to a 
the value of f of x is 1 1 into sine that is the sine function sin n pi x divided by a with respect to x integration okay now the integration of sine function is minus we know that the integration of sine function is minus cosine function in denominator the derivative of function so minus cosine function n pi x divided by a this is the function and in denominator the derivative of the function with respect to with respect to x so that is n pi a divided by a and the limit 0 to a now put upper limit and lower limits put x is equal to a a, a will get cancelled that is minus here the denominator we can write as a a upon n a upon n into pi cos of cos of n pi is remaining minus and this minus sign minus lower limit and this minus sign minus minus plus that is n sorry a upon n pi a upon n pi in bracket put sorry here put x is equal to 0 that is cos of 0 so we get here the value of cos n pi the value of cos n pi is equal to minus 1 raised to n and the value of cos 0 is 1 now see we write this first positive term cos 0 is 1 okay now minus minus see here a is throughout multiplied cos 0 is 1 we have taken a is common a upon n pi is common in bracket cos 0 is 1 minus this minus side is remaining minus minus 1 raised to n okay see here the simply i repeat again the a upon n pi is common cos 0 is 1 and the value of cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n so this is the fourier sine transform of finite fourier sine transform of f of x is equal to 1 that is a upon n pi in bracket 1 minus minus 1 raised to n you can simplify this see when n is even n is even that time the value of this bracket is plus 1 and 1 and this minus and this plus 1 means 0 so we get the two values which is 0 if n is even n is even okay and when n is odd then minus sign will be as it is and this minus and this minus 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 plus okay then we get 2 times a divided by n pi when n is equal to odd okay so this is the Fourier sine transform now similarly we calculate the Fourier cosine transform okay. let f of x is equal to f of x is equal to 1 by definition of by definition of Fourier cosine transform finite Fourier finite Fourier cosine transform transform script f suffix s f of x is equal to tilde f suffix c of n is defined as 0 to a f of x cos of n pi x divided by a dx substitute the value of f of x which is 1 0 to a 0 to a 1 into cosine that is the cosine function cos of n pi x divided by a with respect to x integration and we know that the integration of cosine function is sine function and denominator derivative of that function. It can be written as the integration of cosine function is sine function. Sine function in denominator derivative of this function with respect to x where n pi, n pi divided by a is constant and x with respect to x is 1. Now limit 0 to a 
put upper limit okay now uh, we simplify this term also the denominator of the denominator it become numerator that is a upon n pi now put upper limit here when we put upper limit for x x x x is equal to a a, a will get cancelled so remaining term is sin n pi is there minus lower limit lower limit that is a upon n pi is as it is sine of sine of zero and we know that we know that sin n pi sin n pi is always zero for every integer of n okay and sin zero is same for n is equal to zero is zero so a upon n pi a upon n pi the value of sin n pi is zero minus sin zero is zero so we get zero that is the Fourier cosine transform finite Fourier cosine transform of one one is zero okay now next example f of x is equal to f of x is equal to x let f of x is equal to let f of x is equal to x now here at the same time we solve the both transform Fourier finite Fourier sine and finite Fourier cosine okay now the by definition by definition of finite Fourier sine transform tilde f suffix s yes, yes script f is equal to 0 to a f of x sine of n pi x divided by a with respect to x integration similarly here f of x is equal to x by definition of finite by definition of finite Fourier cosine transform small f of x is equal to, that is Fourier transform of small f of x is equal to denoted by tilde f suffix c of n is equal to 0 to a f of x cos of n pi x divided by a with respect to x integration now substitute the value of x that is 0 to a x into sine of sine of n pi x divided by a with respect to x similarly in cosine 0 to a x into cos of n pi x with respect to x integration now here we use generalized bypass rule the generalized bypass rule is integration u into v is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus plus minus plus minus here suffix indicate the here integration and dash indicate the order of derivative okay here we choose u is equal to x and v is equal to sine here and here v is equal to cosine by bypass rule we keep x as it is see here u as it is now v1 v1 means what integration of sine the integration of sine is minus is minus cos of n pi x divided by a and derivative of this bracket is n pi divided by a minus u dash u dash means the derivative of the x is one now v2 v2 means the integration of the square bracket is keep minus sign as it is sin n pi x divided by a again derivative of the bracket in denominator and previous term that is n square pi square a square the derivative of n pi x divided by is simply n pi upon a and previous so it becomes square now here bracket is complete now next plus u double dash u double dash means derivative of u dash which is zero now here stop the process and limit 0 to a now put upper limit here 
when we put upper limit here, that is the A in bracket, uh, put X is equal to A here, A, A cancel. In earlier problem, we have discussed cos of N pi is minus 1 raised to N. So here, mind, keep this minus sign as it is, minus 1 raised to N divided by N pi upon A. Now, put X is equal to A, A, A cancel, and we know sin N pi is 0. So this is the upper limit minus lower limit. Put x is equal to 0, 0 into 0, 0 into bracket 0, and sine 0 is 0, lower limit also 0. So we get tilde f sub x, yes, that is the Fourier sine transform of x is equal to, this is the n, is equal to minus, this a become numerator, that is a upon, a upon n pi minus 1 raised to n plus 1 here already minus sign. okay now here next in this again we use the same uh, bipartite rule where we select u as a x and v as a cosine function keep x as it is x as it is the integration of cosine is sine n pi x divided by a and derivative of this bracket is n pi divided by a minus derivative of x is 1. Now integration of side is minus cos of n pi x divided by a divided by the derivative of n pi x to, uh, divided by a is n pi upon n previous n square pi square a square. Okay. Now plus derivative of 1. Derivative of 1 is 0. Stop the process. Now limit 0 to a. Now put upper limit. When we put upper limit, a cancel and we know that sin n pi is 0 upper limit. Minus here, put x is equal to a, a, a will get cancel. So cosine n pi is remaining there. And this minus sign and minus sign minus minus plus. Okay, and it uh, the simplification is a square divided by n square pi square. Okay, and remaining term only cos n pi and cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n. So this is the upper limit. Minus lower limit. Minus lower limit. Now here lower limit 0 into the bracket is 0. Okay, the first is 0. Now put here 0. We know that cosine 0 is 1. Okay, so here we substitute the lower limit. Huh? Minus lower limit so here this minus this minus 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 plus quad zero is one and the simplification is a square upon n square pi square okay let us verify again here we substitute x is x is equal to zero we get the zero okay so this is the zero now this minus sign minus minus plus quad zero is one and here simplification is a square upon n square plus pi square. Now see, the denominator is same. That is denominator is n square pi square. Okay. Now here, this is the negative term. And a square upon n square pi square is common. So we write common term first. N, a square divided by n square pi square. Okay. In bracket. So here, minus 1 minus 1 raised to n is remaining and this minus sign minus 1 so this is the Fourier cosine transform of f of x is equal to x when x is lies between 0 to a we can simplify also see here what happened when n is even n is even that time we get the 0 suppose if, if you want more simplification then we can write this as answer 0 for n is e1. n is e1 means it become plus plus 1 and minus 1 that is 0. And when n is odd, n is odd, then minus 1 and minus 1 minus 2. Okay, into the remaining term n square pi square. Okay, so this is the simplification. Thank you.